Hello, my friends. Tonight we are in East Windsor, New Jersey to check out Field of Terror. We're now through security and it seems like they have a nice little area with food and all this stuff. But we'll see how things pick up as the night progresses. I imagine on a Friday or Saturday things get pretty busy while well, I'm here on a Thursday kind of trying to avoid that. And once you've redeemed your ticket, you get one of these tokens for each attraction, which I believe are color coded. But they're nice. They say Field of Terror, got a little spooky pumpkin on them. It's a nice touch. Yep. The clowns have arrived. Or clown, singular. By the way, speaking of all the places with food, they I checked and they do all... Sorry, I got distracted. There's a DJ over there. But they all accept card. Woo! Now, pray for me at the ofrenda. I didn't know tonight is basically like PTA fundraiser night. So a local school is going to have a lot of representation here tonight. So I don't know what kind of group I'm going to go through these attractions with, but should be a lot of screaming. All right, it's time to check out the first attraction of the night, the carnival. Bye! Bye. Oh, they're running. They're running. Hello. Hi. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, it's a cute puppet. made it. Wow, when the attendants said they were gonna find me a good group to go through that with, they weren't lying. Like, they must have read the body language or something because they were jumping back from the scares so much that they like slammed into me and I almost fell backwards. That That's a new one. I, I've not experienced anything like that before. The maze layout was pretty good. I think the experience all together was like eight minutes or so, but the group was kind of like sprinting, stopping, sprinting, stopping. But I liked the layout. It was very disorienting, and I believe that was the goal, right? Between all the flashing lights, some optical illusions. If you can hear it in the background, you know, they definitely chase you out of there. So between all of the dis being disoriented with the, the strobes and all that stuff, some fun sets that were well lit, very dark sections as well, which I probably, I don't know how that's going to look in the edit. Like, I'll probably do some that have good audio, but it was pretty dark in there. I'll try to lighten it up best I can. And last but not least, there's the scare actors who, they were moving so fluidly between all those rooms. They had spots picked out where you could not see them coming. Like, you can tell, like, it's towards the end of the season. Like, they've got the hang of it and are using those spaces really well. And a couple of them popped up several times, which means they're moving from room to room and timing it really nicely. Psst to them, definitely give it a big thumbs up. And now we have to wait a little bit to head on over to the cornfield. Oh my gosh, you guys, I didn't know there'd be celebrities here. 
Next up, we're checking out the Cornfield of Carnage, which I've been told to expect can take anywhere from 20 to 45 minutes, depending. Depending on what, I don't know, but we're about to find out. So wow, that, that took about 25 minutes for me and the group that I was pulsed with. It became, it became basically a conga line of chaos and it was kind of fun in that regard. I didn't mind it also because you're just out in the dark for a long period of time and then you have like show elements and little buildings that you go through that all have kind of like their different approach towards scaring you or just kind of like messing with you in some shape or way. Speaking of, the one negative thing I will say about this experience was the early on there's like this one like steel like or aluminum looking shed or something like that that you walk through and somebody makes a loud sound maybe it's an automated sound of some kind they need to get a decibel meter in there real quick because like my ears still kind of feel it but other than that if you like chainsaws and just like the spookiest of vibes scares that come out of nowhere that one was a heck of an experience. Special shout out to the scare actor who was saying, stay with me, I have Starbucks. You can stay forever with me. That was absolute gold. Uh, the school bus that you walked through was a great set and the scare actors there were doing great. And I generally have found here that the scare actors really know how to work their space as well. And that's always a big plus. All in all, that was very much a chaotic, but wonderful experience and I could describe the entirety of my evening here at Field of Terror in the same way. It's been pretty awesome and then to add to the chaos there's one more attraction I want to point out to you. All right we made it in. Let's see. I'm gonna sit down here. The guy let me in. He told me that they might go after the microphone because it's fuzzy and might be food but either way let's cuddle some goats real quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they recognize a the little cup. No more cup. The cup is gone. The cup is gone. 
The cup is empty. All gone. No more. All right, my friends, from the Field of Terror, definitely recommend a Thursday or Sunday, a lot chiller from what I've heard, than the uh, Fridays and Saturdays. But for now, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time, and I hope you go make your own adventure. Bye. Ha, 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 ha!